<laughs> all right, I am looking at another periodal today. Uh, this is like Wordle, but all of your guesses have to be made up of abbreviations from the periodic table. Um, now, from previous uh, attempts at this puzzle, I've learned that I think the best approach is to guess single letters at first, because if you, say, guess a C and it's gray, it will eliminate all the potential abbreviations that contain a C. Um, whereas if you guess like CO and it's gray, it only eliminates the possibility of CO together, not all the C's and all the O's. So, um, also, the uh, as you may recall from previously, I had trouble with the coloring on this one since I am colorblind. And the creator of the game has since added uh, several different color modes that you can choose from. So I've changed to the high contrast version, which is still gonna be the same kind of green, yellow, orange, but they're uh, a little bit more contrast. So um, a little to distinguish between them a little bit better. And I think I'll be fine with that. Uh, there's some other versions. You can do red, blue, green. You can do magenta, yellow, cyan, gray. I mean, you can do all kinds of things, but this one will be the most similar to the default while still allowing me to uh, be able to distinguish them, I think. so. Uh, somebody had suggested Funky and Chops for a start, which I thought was pretty good because it's 10 single letters, so we're gonna go with that. So let's start with Funky. Okay, so you'll see F, U, K, and Y are all gray, which means every element that has an F, a U, a K, or a Y in it is grayed out as well because we know that letter is not in the answer. Now, N is green, which means that is where the N is. So, cool. Uh, so, so the question is, do we want to do, yeah, let's do chops, let's get, uh, okay, and the S is green now, too. So, uh, we have an N, and that was, I mean, that was really good, and we've eliminated a lot of stuff, everything that has C, H, O, and P as well. So, what do we want to do now? Let's see, between the N and the S, what would be, what would go there? So, if it was a single letter, we don't have too many less left, it's not going to be a V, it's not going to be a W, it's not going to be a B, could be an I. That's possible, but I'm not sure what that would be. So, what else could go in between there? Um, could have like A L S. We could do aluminum. We could do A R S. Um, it definitely feels like it would have to be a vowel and a consonant together. Probably not like a double consonant between an N and an S. So you're not gonna do like S B or R N or any of that kind of stuff. So. Uh, you could have I, N, S. There's lots of things we could do there, actually. Okay, so... Hmm. You know what we could do? So, A, L, S is pretty good. Something nulls. Nulls. <laughs> uh, and we could do... Um, we could do vinyls, which would use two more single letters. And I, there's quite a few with an I that could potentially go between the N and the S, so I like trying some, uh, trying the I to potentially eliminate the ones that have an I. So, let's go with that. Okay, well we didn't eliminate the ones with an I, but we got the orange I, which means... Let me just double check that I got the coloring right. That is the yellow eye, it's not the orange eye. We got the I just have to learn what the colors are. I can tell them apart now, I just have to remember which is which. So this is a yellow eye, which means the element over the element over here could still be something with an eye. But this yellow eye means either there is a, an iodine at the beginning or an iodine between the nitrogen and sulfur. But it's not telling if it was orange, we would have to do like nickel or silicon or something that was an element with an eye. But this is telling us the iodine itself is actually in the answer. So if we had if we had I something and something S, what would that be? I don't know, but I'm not sure what's gonna be with N-I-S at the end either. Huh, I'm not sure. I don't know. Uh, so if, if it's the I at the beginning, I feel like you've got to have probably a consonant second. It's probably not like I-A-S or something like that. But then... It's probably not going to be a triple consonant ending in an N either, so I feel like the second one is going to have to be consonant vowel, probably. Like S I. Like silicon and then nitrogen. Something 
<clears throat> uh, it's not letting me do it that way. It will if I click the actual elements. Yes, but but silicon doesn't work anyways. Ooh, it's too bad there's no D, because we could do islands. No, we can't. That's, that's an S. <laughs> Never mind. Islands is spelled I S L. A N D S. You can't do it anyways because there's no element that's just the letter D. So I feel like it's gonna be N I S at the end. I don't know what that would be. Something like Gemini's, but I don't think there's. Uh, no, there's not an M I. What about? Ooh, we could do Panini's, um, which. Uh, yeah. Panini's? No, why is it? Okay, N, I, there we go. I gotta click on the letters, apparently. Click on the elements. So that's possible. Now, I know some people are probably gonna say, oh, panini is already plural, you can't do paninis, but yes, in Italian, panino would be singular, panini would be plural, but it's become a word, a singular word in its own, on its own in, in English, so there you go. Um, I don't know if it'll accept that. We can try it. Uh, I mean, it's it's at least a possible word. I, I'm not sure what to try. I'm, I'm having a hard time coming up with something. And it'll check if the I is in that spot, so. Let's go for it. Not a word. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> the discussion of whether that is or is not actually the plural of panini, is it was irrelevant. Okay, what if there was another single letter at the beginning? I've been I've been trying to think of like four letter starts before N I S, but what if it was a three letter thing? We had like a B or a W. Or 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 another N. Tennis. Tennis would work. I always forget to repeat the letters. Let's try tennis. Okay, it was tennis. There we go. Alright. Well, I got it in four, so that was good. Um, there was a lot of thinking time here once I got, once I once I eliminated I at the beginning, well, in my head, pretty much eliminated I at the beginning because I didn't think it was going to work. Then it was just a matter of trying things until I figured out what would work at the beginning, so. Very interesting. So, uh, a fairly normal word today, but a little bit tricky because we had the double N in there, so. Um, very cool. So, I think... Uh, so, real quick, I want to try something because there was a disagreement in the comments. Um, so I'm actually going to open the same puzzle up in a different window so I can get a fresh puzzle. And since we know the answer, I want to guess carbon because AR is not in tennis, right? The letter A and the letter R are not in tennis. And someone was disagreeing on whether, it, so we will get a gray AR. Now, the way I understand the rules, that will not eliminate all the elements with A and all the elements with R. It will only eliminate the letters AR next to each other. So I wanna try it and see. Yes, okay, so <laughs> this conclusively determines it because the AR is gray, we still have aluminum, we still have uh, silver, we still have, I don't know, gold, all the things with A's. We still have all the things with R's, such as, uh, where's an R? SR, whatever that one is, I can't remember. RG. <laughs> all those ones that, that I don't know. Anyways, the point is, eliminating AR only eliminates AR together. Now, it also eliminates putting, like, um sodium with radon, right? You can't put those next to each other because you'd have an AR next to each other even though it would be the end of the one and the start of the other. But it does not eliminate A and R. So, there we go, okay. That's what I thought, just wanted to make sure because in the comments somebody was saying that if we guessed LI, it would eliminate all the L's and I's if it was gray, which is not true, so. That's the whole reason to guess single letter elements. Okay, so let me know how you did with today's periodal. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. But that got me thinking, what does your welcome mean? And why do we say it? Or for that matter, what does the word... Okay, okay, so that's where the R is. Uh, so the C and the H and the Y are no good. So there's gotta be an O. 
Oh, wonder, wonder. Okay, so we can do, ooh, ooh, we have peeking. It could be speaking, actually.